ready. They're off. Six runners breaking away over a mile and a half. The Princess of Wales is Close Brothers Stakes. Global Storm with a white cap. One of the first to show up. Mostard after stripe cap out wide. Just taking a while to uh, work over and get a bit of cover as Living Legend in a pink jacket moves up to track the leader at the end of a furlong. West End Sharma, the hooped cap, is just about third ahead of Master Daff. And their new mandate and under Frankie are uh, the white sleeves against the running rail. And Yabia, ridden with great restraint by Will Buick, the all blue at the back of the field. Up ahead, it's his stablemate Global Storm, who dictates by a couple of lengths to Living Legend, West End Charmer racing freely in third, three parts of a length away to Mostardaf as they begin the right hander. New mandate is last but one, and he's accompanied in rear by Yabia. Swinging on in moving towards the end of five furlongs. And Global Storm and James Doyle leading the Princess of Wales's Close Brothers Stakes field by a couple of lengths. Doyle glancing in behind. Living Legend and Ryan Moore Pink Jacket sitting in second in the slipstream of the leader. West End Charmer, the hoop cap for Andrea Atzani in third. Uh, Mostardath, the striped cap for Crowley in fourth. Frankie the White and Mauve aboard New Mandate and Buick the All Blue still last at halfway aboard the globe-trotting Yabia. So Godolphin topping and tailing the field at the moment. Global Storm has had the run of things throughout to Living Legend, West End Charmer, passing the five. Mostardaf remains in fourth place ahead of New Mandate and Yabia. And again, Doyle glances in behind aboard the front-running Global Storm as they head for the last half mile. Living Legend is now asked to get a little closer. Moore sitting lower in the saddle. Mostardaf away to the right, breezing into it. West End Charmer hoop cap under a drive. Frankie beginning to burrow through against the running rail now aboard new mandate. Yabia still towards the rear. Buick crouching low heading towards the last quarter mile. Global Storm joined by Living Legend and Mostard Ath second from the right making a line of three. Here's Yabir on the extreme right. New mandate still trying to thread a passage in behind. West End Charmer is beaten. Uphill for the last furlong they come. Living Legend tackling Global Storm. Yabir though joining them on the far side. Mostard Ath looking held and it's Yabir whose power to the front, beginning to draw on now. The globe-trotting Yabir will add a Princess of Wales' his close brother's stakes to his already impressive profile. And Godolphin take it from living legend and global storm, clear of West End Charmer, New Mandate and Mostardaf. We've got a very quick time to have an opportunity to talk to William Buett because he's about to go for his trophy. But Yabir has just won the Princess of Wales' stakes. That was good to see him bouncing back. Yeah, no, it really was, you know. He was entitled to win like that on his, on his uh, previous form, obviously. Um, and, you know, we all know he's a horse that, you know, he does need certain things to go his way. And, um, you know, t today, um, you know, it, it did. Uh, he had an even pace to run at and, uh, you know, fast ground, which he loves. This might sound mad. Could he run in the King George? I don't know. I, 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 America was mentioned uh, before before this. Um, King Would George. Was, I never heard King George mentioned. Would Ascot suit him? Yeah, it's, uh, Ascot suits any horse. Yeah, I can't say it wouldn't. Okay. All right. Then. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks.